Okay. Uh, well, if you're watching this video, um, it uh, means that we're at the hospital. So um, I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of the agenda for today and what you're doing as well as sort of what to do about your outcome quiz that you have today. Um, today's luckily, today's just a review day. Um, so just a few sort of things to think about um, for your review day. So what you're going to do, you should already be there, but um, today is cycle 24 and um, you'll see um, on there that uh, there really isn't much to today other than the outcome quiz and the test review. So you'll see here um, in the beginning of the class you're going to practice um, a linear modeling, um, no not linear modeling, sorry quadratic modeling uh, before you take your outcome quiz. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up the review. So the review is here. Open up the review in Canvas or well, in Notability and look at the outcomes 13, 15, and 4. Um, after yesterday, or sorry, after Wednesday's lesson, you should be able to do outcomes 13, 15, and 4. So go through, you can work together. I, I, I highly suggest that you work together and work with the people um, at your table. Um, you can move around, but go through the review and do the problems in outcomes 13, 15, and four. Then open up the answers to check your answers on those particular problems. Um, work together. Um, that's all I can say. Um, I'm, I'm not going to be there uh, for the review, obviously, and I'm, I may not be there for your actual test. So you're going to rely on each other uh, to get help and, and to answer questions of things that you don't know. So um, don't waste today. Um, you know, go through the review, answer those, or go to those questions in the review, answer the questions, and then check your answers with the review answers. Um, one of the ones that um, might be a little uh, iffy about is outcome 13. Outcome 13 is graphing systems, um, systems of nonlinear systems, and um, uh, finding the solutions. So what that is, and, and I'll show you here, basically um, you're just going to graph the two equations. Um, and remember, with any solution of equations, the answers are just where they cross. So if you want to open up the review um, and look at uh, outcome 13, um, I'll open it as well so you can see it. Let's see if I can go here. View 2017. Let's look. Now um, it is, let's see, where's that, there you go. So here is the review, um, and so outcome, let's see, where's that? There it is, at the very bottom. So I, I know these outcomes are sort of misnumbered here, but this is outcome 13. It's graphing a system of equations. So basically you're going to uh, plug those equations. You can use your graphing calculator to graph them, as well as you can use Desmos. Um, you can use Desmos to graph these lines into Desmos. So I'll uh, show you what that looks like. So when you go to Desmos, uh, I'll put in y equals x squared minus 4 and y equals negative x plus 2. So if I go to Desmos and you know, yours is going to be through the app, but basically I do y equals x squared uh, minus 4 and then I do y equals, I think it was negative x plus 2. I think that's what it was. I can't Let's see here. Yeah, negative x plus 2. So there's the equation. And so what you'll basically do is just transfer the graph um, that's on your uh, iPad uh, onto the graph that's on the paper. So you can see here that it crosses there and crosses there. Uh, and those would be the solutions to the those uh, the nonlinear system. 
um, and you can just just make sure you graph the problems on the actual graph paper because I won't be able to see Desmos um, when I'm grading these. So that's what you're going to do with um, Desmos. So um, review those outcomes, check the answers, and then once everybody's ready, uh, you'll take the outcome quiz on 13, 15, and 4. Um, and then once you're done with the outcome quiz, the rest of the time is yours to work through the rest of the review. I highly, highly suggest that you go through the review. Remember, the review very closely follows along with what the test is like. Um, and again, I may not be there for the test, so don't waste your time. Um, go through, work together, you know, like you move around, uh, but be productive today because you know I don't we don't want to get behind as far as outcomes go so you you have uh, pretty much a replica of the review there uh, all the outcomes there's circles um, I know these outcomes are, are misnumbered on the review um, they're right on the test but they're misnumbered on the review uh, but you have circles basically um, and then you have the modeling equations you have graphing parabolas so it's, it's all there. So make sure you get through it. The answer key is also there uh, to check your answers when you're done too. If you have any questions, please email me or uh, send me a message and I'll be you know, happy to get to it. You know, soon, well, as soon as I can, I'll get to your questions and have them answered. So thanks.